The next poet that I have uh, that's in the show, she goes by the name of the Prophet. Where are you, the Prophet? Put your hands together for the Prophet, people. Thanks, thanks. He just told me I didn't need the mic because I have a big mouth, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I don't call myself a poet or a spoken word artist. I'm a thought scientist, and this is just a hypothesis. And that goes for all the poets that came up here. You're thought scientists. Don't let it die. I'm going to read something to you guys about a new superhero called Butterfly Man. Butterfly Man, I'm waiting. No, I'm praying for your arrival. For those of you that are not aware, Butterfly Man is the man that causes all kinds of chemical reactions, especially butterflies in me. His eyes are like soft tickling on my skin, enough to, to make me lose my breath. But his smile makes me lose my step. He walks one step closer to me, it's like a faint sweat. But I don't just mean these feelings occurring in the beginning of our courtship. Butterfly Man causes me to be weak in the knees after years of this intimate relationship. Butterfly Man is the poor man I want to marry, the poor man I want to love, because I want to help him build his fortune so he knows my heart is pure. Because for him, being poor or hungry is the price I would gladly endure. I want to live, li I want to live a life using words like inspirational, admirable, invigorating, stimulating, exhilarating, just to describe his significance, his essence. I want to be the strong woman behind the man, but I know that a butterfly man won't allow that. He's not having that because he will be the man beside the woman. Butterfly man will even give me butterflies at my parents' place. My dad will throw his arm around this wonderful man and say, hi, son. My mom will run up and she'll give him that warm embrace. I can't wait to just watch him work a room. My dad will pull me aside and tell me, that's a good man you have there. I know you're doing your part, I presume. And I can't even get mad because he's right to intrude. Butterfly man deserves to be catered to. Listen up, ladies. The word serve is not a verb, but an adjective to describe how I want to treat him. All the things I want to do, not because I have to, but because I want to. Can I cook for you? Baby, what can I do for you? Oh, the game is on? That's all right. I'll give you your space. Let me know when it's over so I can just sit and stare at your face. <laughs> See, Butterfly Man will deserve all this and more because I know the worth of a valiant man. I know that a good man that gives me butterflies throughout my life that supports and even entertains my thoughts, amused by my habits, a man that makes me better, a man that makes me smile when he's not around, a man that will be chasing me around the house even when we're old, when we're grandparents together. A man like that deserves the world, maybe even a poem. That man that makes my soul sing, that butterfly causing heaven sent gift, deserves a woman like me. Butterfly man, I lose my breath again. Because infidelity is beneath him, perfection is above him, and respect is him. Thank you. Put your hands together for the prophet. Prophet. Very nice, very nice, very nice.